You hungry? Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. This friend we're meeting, is it someone I know? Nah, ex-company pal Robert Marshall. Has a line on an asshole we worked with before your time. Man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name. The two of you had some kind of fallen out. The fallout would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of them. Something had to go down. Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitor's cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's in New Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Never is. You ever get a chance to meet up with that gal you kept going on about? The one with the ass? <laughs> well, they all got asses, but I assume you mean Regine. Regine, yeah, that's the one. So how about it? Nah, I mean, I saw her around, but shit went off the rails. What about that girl who kept writing you? You seem cool. Yeah, real cool. Right up until she went and got hitched to an accountant from New York City. Shit, sorry, man. I had some friends of mine uh, run a report on him, pulled everything. Seems like a decent enough guy. He served? <laughs> no. Too assed out. And fuck him. And fuck her too. Thanks, buddy. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Ooh. <laughs> Ungrateful fuck. <sighs> Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. Well, I keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Birdie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Well, let's go. Looks like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Jeez. God damn. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? What kind of sick fuck shoots up a birthday party? Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him, and that life. We need to secure the upstairs. Yes, we do. And pray to God Balman is still breathing. I'd say it's not looking good. I'll cover you boys from down here. Hey, 
You sure about Marshall? Man seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh, that's his brain. False alarm, he's dead. Okay, yeah. So maybe he's a little off. Poor bastard. Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. <sighs> Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Balmana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! yeah I got him. Oh. Not a chance. Some questions oh, for you. All right, let's go. Come here. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Why the fuck you running? Have you seen you? Fair point. Come on. I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? Oh, is that an upman you're smoking? Goddamn right it is. It's moving up in the world. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You know, forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, so? So, the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! Oh. You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name, Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again, so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he was with that they need to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. All my mother. That mean anything to you? Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Stand up. You ready? We need to get to the safe house. 
The Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right, let's go. From the looks of that restaurant, Aldridge had some well-trained men working with him. No surprise. Cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. Never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that Nung MSF battalion saved our asses last year. Those are some mean motherfuckers. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. Damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Brother, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wound tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing unwinding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk to me. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our country. Oh, fuck you, man. Don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn grunts. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us. But we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine. Watch the road! Watch it! Safe house should be coming up. We're here. Motherfuck! <sighs> There's the way in back there. It's usually guarded, but under the circumstances, we should be okay. What's the layout of this place? The primary offices are outfitted with a mainframe computer system. Whatever Aldridge is here for, it's likely to be located there. God damn it! You see what I did to your friend here? And are you going to be the same defiant motherfucker whose brains are going to rain down on this earth? No. Good. Now let's go. God damn it. They're going to kill every last agent if we don't do something. Then let's go stop.
you quite. Let's ride this train all, all the way down. to the end, Frey. Looks like the last. Is that a mail room back there? Inspection station. We review every piece of mail leaving and entering the country. How else would we keep an eye on all those common sympathizers? Yeah. How well? <clears throat> Fucking smart mouth cocksucker. Security door. You hang on to it. I'll slide on your hold and open for you from the other side. You got it? You got it? But make it snappy. Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding. All for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. So snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the worst. Thing. You gotta stand strong. Oh, it's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> Show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking head right, off. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, you fucking coward! He's gonna kill you regardless. Out of way. How's the hand? How's the face? Tell me. Who's your colorful friend? I'm the motherfucker who's gonna shove his colorful foot up your ass. Oh, I like him, Johnny. He's a keeper. Just take what you want and go. Jackpot. Fuck! Now what? I'll tell you now what. 
Come here. What? Oh, just get up. Ah. 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 So long, Johnny. You fucking bastard. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Aldridge. Maybe. Maybe not. Fuck! We got company. I'm gonna personally put each one of you in the fucking ground. Come kill me! I'll take that. We're killing our people! Today's the day you die! I'm hit! I'll put one in here! That's all of them. Need to get in there and find out what Aldridge was after. There's gotta be a key card around here somewhere. Check the desks, the bodies, everywhere. God damn it! Fuck! Come on! Open! God damn it! Ugh. Ugh. Mother fuck! Ugh. Found the car. We need to get in there and find out what Aldridge is up to. God damn it! What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck! What the hell is this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Dvachka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out, he doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Paez before Aldridge does. Connor Aldridge. When did you first meet him? June, 1954. 
We went into Guatemala as part of PB success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldrich was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this in to Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track down Pius. One of my guys picked up chatter on the wire. A crew of Aldridge's men are moving towards Paez as we speak. Think you can get us there ahead of them? I'm up for trying. Good. Let's go. The department store Paez works out of is up in Frisco Fields. A place called Bois Rose. Yeah, I've heard of it. We'll be there before you know it. How exactly does an old money shop like West Rose end up employing a Cuban exile working for the CIA? Old money comes with a lot of old secrets. And 10,000 taxpayer dollars each month. You motherfuckers call me a criminal. Come on! Come on! My grandmother can drive faster than this. Well, let's go get the old bag and see what she can do. There's Washero. The sign of Aldridge's mugs. This hour, Paez should be on duty with the rest of the janitorial staff. Let's get in there and find him. We're closed. Motherfucker, do we look like we're here to buy a goddamn blender? Paez, where is he? Look! Last time I saw him, he was on the third floor. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and you and your crew who want to keep breathing should clear out. There are some real assholes on their way here. Some of this shit costs more than I take home in a year. Yeah, but you spend it on cheap booze and loose women. The booze is never cheap. Hey, pal. Get out of here. Cops are on their way. They know about you. Oh, shit! Thanks! Huh? You buy it? Depends. Who the fuck is asking? Motherfuckers who are trying to keep your ass alive. We need to move. Now. Get your ass behind him! 
can assume that they want me dead and you Just want me alive. Just stop something. You most certainly what can, the fuck bro. over here? Shit. I'm taking cover. You meant for me. Gentlemen, I think we found our ride out of here. Paez, you're riding shotgun. Lincoln. I'm on the tour. You read my mind. I think I'm gonna need a doctor now. Shoot those fuckers on the right! Shoot those fuckers off our asses, Lincoln! Make me replace this uniform. Eso cabrones. Ah, uh, coño. On the right. We're coming from the right. Hyatt is looking worse. Deal with those mercs so we can get him to Marshall. I don't suppose say either of you is a doctor? Fuck! More assholes on our left! Come on! Come on! That's it! Brace yourself! Ah. Here we go! Oh shit!
That's the last of them. Pius, how you feeling? Uh, anybody else cold? Hold tight. We'll get you patched up. We need to get him inside. Hold on, buddy. We brought you a live one. Yeah, I can see that. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened to you guys? One of Aldridge's men clipped him. Oh, God, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. Tell me your name. Ruben. Ruben, well... Lucky for you, I've had my fair share of battlefield Do you know what that means? No. Things are gonna be just fine. Looks like the bullet went clean through. All right, move your hand. This is gonna hurt. Hey, your plane. Where is it? There was a storm. Yeah, we know about the storm. Where'd you go down? Last readings was uh, 22.5 degree latitude and uh, 87, 87.9 degree longitude. Why the fuck were you heading west? After that shit with, with Kennedy, Khrushchev told Fidel to return the warhead. He didn't want to send with the disassembled missiles, so we arranged to meet the Russians. Uh, at an airstrip uh, outside of Mexico City. Perfect. Thanks, Paez. I'm Gago and tu madre. Huh? Sure. Look, I'm gonna get us a boat. You meet me when you're ready. You got this? Yeah, go on. I'll get your boy here patched up and out of town. Hey, hey. Oh, you bastard. Ready when you are, Captain. Right then. Let's go get that motherfucker. That motherfucker better still be there. He will be. Has to be. All right, man, enough. We were running all over the goddamn place. It's about time you tell me what went down between you and Aldridge. It's 1963. I'd been in country a little under two years. Day, John. Chong Shin Shack. Stay out of this, Johnny. That's not exactly my style. Chong's not coming. What did you do? Let's just say Chong had a little accident. Fell down a very deep well. But not before he spilled all your dirty little secrets. Like how you've been feeding intel to the NVA? The U.S. government executes traitors, you know that, right? Fuck you. I'm hoping they'll hang you, but I will settle for a firing squad. Let's go. Ugh! <clears throat> 
use you to suit things over with the NVA. So why don't you tell me where those Salt Recon teams are headed? <laughs> you really think that I didn't pass on what Tron told me? Right now, every morn in your little circle jerk is being rounded up. I always thought the company was halfway decent at screening out dumbasses. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Ah, that's funny. That's real funny. <laughs> Before he could go to work on me, a couple MPs showed up. They heard the shot and came running. And Aldridge escaped. He's a slippery little fucker, I'll give him that much. Come on, let's go find that goddamn piss ant. Let's move to high ground, get eyes on the situation. Got intel on this place? Used to have a decent fishing industry, but that died off a while ago. Residents relocated to the mainland. Island's been abandoned ever since. a load of shit. It was two guys. But you're telling me two guys took out that many of our men? I'm telling you it was two guys who took out that many of our guys. And it's those same two men who are likely heading here. God damn it, man. You're just so full of good news, aren't you? It's a gift. Dealer's choice. I can handle this, friend. on the town of Hermosa Pez, or what remains of it anyway. Looks like Aldridge's Merc set up camp by that old church. Someone must be in charge down there. We should see what we can get out of them. Looks like they got some high-power weaponry over there. One asshole manning it. Try not to piss him off? No, nah, I'm just gonna go give him a hug. with you assholes. Gonna split. Good luck. Lincoln, look at how many of these fuckers are there. Oh. Switching to something louder.
rest of your crew, where are they? <laughs> Clearing up ahead. Two, maybe three clicks. Thanks. Grab one of these vehicles and get going. We should grab some wheels. Aldrich gets out in the wild with this nuke. According to the Mad Doctrine, the only thing keeping us from full-scale nuclear annihilation is knowing there's enough nukes between us and the Soviets to wipe out the planet. Mutually assured destruction. Mad. It's our failsafe. But if a single nuke falls into the wrong hands, some... What was I talking about? But if a single nuke falls into the wrong hands, some rogue actor, that's where the boat starts tipping, and all bets are off. So what you're saying is you have no idea. Not a goddamn clue. This area is crawling with mercs. You got a plan? If I can get up on that ridge over there and catch those assholes off guard, it may save us some trouble. All right. Hey, guess that leaves a low Give ground. Give me a hand up. Oh, hey. Watch the personal space. That plane looks like it's barely holding together. Oh, come on. You scared? Motherfucker, you know how I feel about planes. Yeah, but this one's already crashed. Fuck you for even saying that. Got one. Taking him out. He's not making it off the island. doing up there? Oh, man. There's a turret here. Resist, brother, resist. Shit. Okay, fine. I'll cover you from here. Throw me a signal if you want me to open fire. Roger that.
After you, Pansy. <laughs> God damn it! He beat us here. Well, he couldn't have gone far with that thing. Don't fucking move. The two of you. Turn around slowly. Where's the warhead? Mr. Aldrich is going to be real happy to see the two of you. Hey, shit for brains. I asked you a goddamn question. Where's the nuke? Ask me again, boy. <laughs> 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 What's Aldridge doing? But the war! Ah! Hmm? He's got a contact huh? in the NVA! Some general, he's paying big money for his... Motherfucker! I swear, it's the truth! Shh, 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 uh, quiet. Uh, go! him now. Get yourself an adrenaline shot. Aldridge is close. We need to move. You take the turn. How the fuck is Aldridge down with selling a nuke to the NBA? Well, if you remove a man's moral compass, loyalty to his home country, and then fill it up with anger and resentment, you'd be surprised what you can get him to do.
Some good training. End of the line. We'll walk the rest. Nuke to the NBA. Aldred really crazy enough to do that? Crazy enough? No. Angry enough? Maybe. There goes a nuke. Is that a... Those commie motherfuckers did it. They built a goddamn base, missile silo and all, right off our own coast. We need to get down there. Hard to tell what we might run into, so stay close. None of your spook pals knew about this base. No idea. Chatter about plans for it, sure. But no confirmation that they'd ever started, let alone gotten this far along. Hold up. Listen. How are we looking? Be a lot faster if we could ditch the gear, blow the site. Negative. Aldrich doesn't want to leave a bigger footprint than we already have. Why Roger that. Know? We'll get it done. Over and out. That was... Get your guns up! Everybody! On it. There's a mouse. <laughs> Jesus, you're thrilled. Switching to something louder. Ah. an adrenaline shot. God damn, this place is a shithole. Feels like I ought to get a tetanus shot once we're out of here. The warhead must have gone into this elevator. Podvanaibukta. Shit. Which goes straight down to a submarine bay. That must be how he's getting a nuke off the island. How do we get down? Looks like the red service line on the ground will lead there. Red. Of course it's red. What do we do now? Can't exactly knock and ask him to give the nuke back. No. But I can hotwire those doors, probably get them open 30, 40 seconds tops. All right. I'll cover. Christ, man, was that you? Uh, maybe. Mother fuck. I ought to let him shoot your ass. I said maybe. Either way, it's probably gonna get real popular around here. Fuck. Just get the goddamn door open. We're fixing the party. What happened? 
Was a low backfire. You are fucked now. Full of shit. Right? Yeah, of course he is. You heard what they did in that CIA shop. How they Why got that is I don't want to die in this goddamn bunker. We won't. In ten minutes, you and I are gonna go on a routine patrol. Then we'll ride this out in one of those access tunnels. But you... You gotta stay cool until then. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, Pops. He's dead.
Jesus Christ. They never got it done. This thing couldn't launch Fidel into Khrushchev's asshole. God bless you, Jack Kennedy. The silo goes down a few levels and connects to the submarine bay. That's where we'll find Aldrich. Hey, me! Sit on oh, this! Fuck! Ah! Ah! Kill it off, people! to start something. Reloading! Ready to meet my friend, Tommy? Get this dog fucker off me! Ah. Down, Get this dog... Toss him one in! Move in! Got him! Ah. Ah. Shoot him from the stage! Hey. We're falling oh. apart! Yeah. How you like that? My side. That elevator's the only thing getting us out. <laughs> Shit, this thing's not going anywhere. Let me see what I can do. up ahead. The submarine bay should be through there. I don't know, man. You sure this will take us to the submarine bay? Are you doubting my ability to translate Russian? Hell yeah. I'm absolutely doubting it. You little faith. Control room's right below us. We need to get down there and check it out. Stay behind me. 
power my direction while you flank the other side. Got it. Lincoln! Ah! people! How many of these fuckers are there? Watch your Lincoln! Look out! Don't let it go for you! Another one. Finish. Finish this. I'll be outside. <coughs> you're like... You're like a goddamn cockroach, you know that? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> What the fuck were you thinking? <clears throat> Aiding a sworn enemy of the United States. In wartime, no less. <sighs> NVA are no enemies of mine. <coughs> Same with the VC. And that's why you decided to murder thousands of American soldiers with that goddamn nuke? How many soldiers we got scattered around all over there? Most of them are scared shitless. They could give two fucks about any of it. They just want to make it home alive. The problem is they get home and their heads are all scrambled. Or maybe they find their girl humping on some fucking asshole who got a deferment for heel spurs. So, you were doing this for the soldiers, is that it? <laughs> And what about the money you were hoping to make? What was that for? <laughs> to ease your conscience? <laughs> we both took off the talk, it never happened. It's a bunch of bullshit dreamt up by the NSA. You talk to me about killing American soldiers? Brother, the fucking US government's been doing that! <sighs> and for what? God, I used to admire you! <sighs> Thought you represented everything great about this country. And you are just as greedy and selfish as everyone else. There are no dominoes, Johnny. Vietnam falls. Who gives a shit? It's a fucking backwater. Everybody's living in goddamn huts. And half of them don't even have shoes on their fucking feet, for Christ's sake. 
At least my way had a chance of ending things. Are you finished? It appears so. Come on. Let's get that warhead out of here. The elevator doors. I got them. Let's go, buddy. Get in. What the hell are we gonna do with this thing? Just trust me. Oh, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Hey, we're ready. Bring the bird around. Moving into position. So that's your bird. Didn't I say trust me? How far did they go? God damn it! Clear the head out, or I'm out. Mean to pry. Will you mind telling me who just flew off with the nuke? Oh, that's Gary. He's a great guy. You'd love him. Oh, Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? <laughs> He's a man who knows people. He'll probably even manage to squeeze a reward out of the Pentagon. Oh, don't worry. I'll cut you in. <laughs> oh, goddamn. I'm famished. Hey, how about we stop for some shrimp po' boys? Ugh, I'll pass. What's the matter? Your weak-ass constitution can't handle some stick-to-your-ribs grub? That shit's practically a culinary disembowelment. <laughs> okay. How about we stop for some ice cream before I go talk to Marshall? Oh, ice cream? Who the fuck am I, your girlfriend? Hey, man. Dress fit. <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> yeah, sure, now he's got a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> 